In this quick start video, I'll show you how you can easily configure WP eStore so you can start selling your products online in just a few minutes. I've logged into my WordPress admin panel as an administrator, and the first thing that we'll need to do is update some of the WP eStore configuration settings before adding any products. To get to the WP eStore configuration page, click on WP eStore Settings. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that there are heaps of configuration settings, and if you're a new user, you might find this a bit overwhelming, but don't be concerned about that at all. To get started quickly, you only need to update some essential configuration items such as your PayPal email address, and you can just use all the other default settings. Later, once you have everything working, you can watch some of the more advanced videos and update the other configuration settings as needed. Here we are on the general settings page, and there's only a few changes that you might want to make here. Let's scroll down a little bit. And here we are in the general eStore settings. The first thing you might want to change is the language that the shopping cart is displayed into your customers. I'm going to leave that as English, but you can change that. The next thing you might want to change is the currency code. This is a currency that your customers will be charged in. I'll leave that as US dollars, but you could easily change that to Canadian or Euros or whatever you need. I'll also leave the currency symbol as a dollar sign. You can change that if needed. And there's one other setting that I'd like to change, and that's the return URL. So we'll scroll down a little bit more, and here it is, the return URL. Now this is the URL that your customers will be redirected to after a successful payment. I always create a dedicated thank you page, and this is a page that I created earlier. So all I need to do is copy the URL, and let's paste it into that field. And that's all we need to change on this page. Let's scroll right to the bottom and make sure you click Update Options. Next, you'll have to enter your Payment Gateway details. Click on the Payment Gateway Settings link at the top of the page. And if you're using PayPal, check on this box, which is a Use PayPal Payment Gateway. Next, enter your PayPal email address. And that's all we need to do. If you're using manual checkout, you could select these options, or if you're using a different payment gateway, you can use those, but we'll just be using PayPal for this demonstration. I'll click Update. And the last thing that we'll have to do is change a few email settings. There's only two things you'll have to update on this page. The first is the from email address. So this is the email address that will be used to send the email to the buyer. So I'll update this with my details. I'll place my name here and I'll fix up the domain. The next thing you might want to check is the notification email address. So this is the email address where the seller, that's you, will be notified of any product sales. Right now, this email address looks okay, so I won't change it, and you won't need to change anything else on this page. So scroll right to the bottom and click Update. So that's it for configuration. All we need to do now is add some products. In this demonstration, I'll be selling two eBooks. So to add those eBooks as products, head over to the WP eStore menu and click on Add Edit Products. For the first product, I'll enter a product name. I'll get that out of my text document that I have set up. The first eBook is about golf. So let's copy that title. And I'll give it a product price of $9. Expand the additional product details and let's enter a product description. I also want to enter a thumbnail image, so let's upload that file. Here's my ebook cover, I'll drag that into the media library. I'll click on full size and insert that. That's all the information we need to add for this section. So let's collapse this section. And now let's upload the actual ebook. So click on Upload File. Navigate to your ebook. And just drag it directly into the media library. We'll insert that. And that's it. We don't need to do anything else for this add product. Scroll right to the bottom and click on Save Product. I'll now add a second product using the Add New button at the top of the page. 
And since adding a second product is, is exactly the same as what I've already shown you, I'll just fast forward through this section. So I now have two products in WP eStore. To see all of the products that you have uploaded, click on WP eStore Manage Products. And here we can see the two products. The next thing that I'll need to do is create a products page with these two ebooks so somebody can actually purchase them. I'll navigate back to my website. I do have a products page. It's empty at the moment, so I'll edit it. You can display your products on a post or page by using the WP eStore shortcodes. In the WordPress editor, have a look for this WP eStore shortcodes button. Clicking the button reveals a dialog box. And for this demonstration, I'll be using the WP eStore Fancy 2 shortcode. If you want to know more about the different shortcodes you can use, click this link here, which will take you to the documentation site. I'll insert this shortcode. And now it's asking for an ID. This is the ID of the product that you want to sell. To find the ID, let's go back to the other page, the Manage Products page. And if I want to sell this Golf Guru eBook, it's ID number one. So I'll simply enter number one into this text box here. And that's the first short code in, and I can do the same for the second product. The second product, if we have a look, that's ID number two. So we'll enter two. And now we have both short codes. Let's update the page and let's see what it looks like. And here are our products on the products page. As you can see, it's pretty easy to add products to a page and there's a lot of different ways that you can render those products. The next thing we wanna do is add a shopping cart into the sidebar. Let's go back to the dashboard and have a look at our widget areas. Click on Appearance, Widgets. All themes are a little bit different. This theme has a lot of different widget areas that I can use. I wanna put a shopping cart into the Pages widget area. So I'll have a look for that widget. Here it is at the bottom, WP Cart for Digital Products. I'll click on that, select that I wanna put on the Pages widget area, and click Add Widget. This will automatically put in the Pages widget area. You can press Save. And now when I refresh my products page, I should have a shopping cart in the sidebar area. The shopping cart is now empty, so let's test it out. I'll add the first ebook to the cart. And let's add the second ebook. So this is where the user can update the quantities or even delete what's in their cart. So that's all working really well. The next thing we need to do is test our transactions. The easiest way that I've found to test that everything is working okay is to change one product price down to say one cent, do a real transaction, and once you get everything working okay, just change the price back to its normal price. Let's do that right now. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's change the price. So go WP eStore Manage Products. And I want to change the price of that golf ebook down to one cent. So I'll click on edit. And let's change the price to one cent. Scroll right down to the bottom. Save the product. Let's refresh our products page. And here we can see the price is now one cent. Let's add it to the cart and do a real transaction. So here we go, let's add it to the cart. And let's check out with PayPal. So since we're using PayPal, we obviously can't use the same PayPal address that we configured earlier. You'll have to use somebody else's PayPal account, or if you have two PayPal accounts, that's even better. I'm going to pay for this transaction with another PayPal account that I have, so I'll just log in. And I'll pay for the ebook. The transaction's gone through and it should automatically redirect to the thank you page. So here we can see that everything's working. Let's just check all the emails that get sent to the different email accounts. 
As a seller, you'll receive an email notification whenever you make a sale. Here's a sale that was made. It was for the Golf Guru eBook, product ID one. You will also receive an email notification from PayPal, which includes a transaction ID. And finally, here is the email they sent to the buyer with their download link. Let's click on the link and see what we get. Let's open the PDF. And as you can see, everything's working fine. Now that you've tested that everything is working correctly, the final thing you have to do is change that ebook price back to the original price. So let's go back to WP eStore and we'll change this price back to $9. Save the product. Let's click on our products page. The price of the ebook is back to $9, and now you can start selling your products. So that concludes the WP eStore Quick Start Configuration Guide. You can now start adding some of your own products. When you're ready, make sure to watch some of the other videos that show the advanced features of WP eStore.